Hello, everybody. All one person of you. Well, this is uh, the great grandson you don't hear too much about. And uh, he has a regular job. But he also does pressure washing on the side. And uh, he don't live around here. But uh, let me ask him how far away he lives. I don't exactly know if this. Let me ask him. Hey Clay, how how far is it to your house, sir? Forty-five, forty-eight minutes. Yeah, he said. He said, like forty-eight minutes. So like I say, he don't he don't exactly live in this town. He's got him a pretty good outfit here. He is a professional pressure washer. And uh, he mostly works weekends. And uh, that's his truck there, so that tells you he does pretty good. You can't, can't have one of them trucks right here not making no money. He's uh, gonna wash my camper for me. <coughs> so I ain't gonna make him a commercial too. So I wanna say that he washes, he washes motorhomes, he washes campers, he washes House, uh, houses, trailers, transport trucks, anything that you want to pressure wash, he does it. So, uh, which side are you going to start on, Clay? I'm going to start around the front and go around the other side. Right here? Okay. That's the grandson there that you don't hear too much about. But, uh, he actually had a rough life, too. Believe it or not, he did, too. Now, Cody and Clay they got the same daddy, but they ain't got the same mama. But, uh, Clay grew up tough. They want nothing handed to him. And I'm talking about nothing. I was there. He's come and spent the night over here. A many a night, you know. But, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about him. He, uh, let me get my thoughts here. I'm watching him. <laughs> uh, he, you know them trailers like Stephen's got he pulls around, you know? So it's not a factory where Clay works at. 
but it's a place that makes them trailers. For, you know, like you see people have them, uh, them trailers on car lots and stuff. Yeah, you know, not car lots, but you see them like for sale. Uh, they are the ones that make them. The place where Clay works at. And I'm sure when Clay started, I'm sure he started at the bottom. I'm sure of it. But he worked his way up to where he's a, a foreman. And he done that on his own. Um, and he's doing all right, y'all. And I'm gonna tell you something. And, and, I, and I ain't just thought of this, neither. Because I've thought about it many times. Oh. Uh, Clay, growing up to be what he is, is like a normal person growing up to be a doctor because he come from rough backwoods out in the country rough I'm telling you he did um, he don't I'm sure he don't care nothing about being rich. But he's happy. Oh. Uh, he's happy doing what he does. And I'm just telling you. He come from nothing. From nothing. Ain't up. So, another thing or two. He don't drink. Uh, he don't mess with drugs. He's a true fam family man. Clay, uh, you want to call your wife up and tell her, ask her if she want to watch the live? Okay, son. Yep. This is this is Cody's half brother here. Hey, Tammy, if you're watching, come out here. I need you to come out here for a minute, Tammy. See y'all. I had a chance. I had a chance. When I was young. I had a fighting chance. And I messed my chance up. And I mean, I straightened up later, you know. But I messed my chance up. I mean, hell, I went back for, you know I mean, a few years, you know. But I had my chance. And I messed it up. Clay didn't. When I'm telling you he come from nothing, he come from nothing. He, uh, he,
mom, I wouldn't let him see his daddy. All kind of stuff, you know. And, uh, and I mean, I'm telling you, the reason I go on about this is because he's like equaled up to a damn doctor on norm, like normal people because he done it all himself. He worked his way to where he is. So can anybody call Tammy and tell her to come out here for a minute? That's enough for the bragging. But I wanted y'all, by God, to know. He's come over here and spent the night of many a day. You know how they got it a little older, you know? called him up yesterday and uh he does this like on the weekends he told me he had the whole weekend booked up I, well, I didn't call him I text him on Facebook and uh he told me he had the weekend booked up so he said how quick do you want it I said, well, as soon as I can get it, you know, because, I mean, I'm waiting to go camping, you know. And, uh, they said, well, I'll cool no more. So he, he left straight from work, y'all, uh, to come here and He's uh, well, he's pressure washed my house before. He come and done it. And, uh, he wanted to. That's something he wanted to do for. You know, he just wanted to do it. You know, and uh, I had to make him take some money. So Clay, he looks a lot like his daddy. Yeah, it was. And I mean, I didn't even, you know, about the house, I mean, I didn't even ask him about that. Just uh, told me he's gonna come and, and he, he he done it too. You know, I'm talking about like I missed my chance up. I mean, I was still 20 years old when I started roofing business, but like I could have started sooner than that. I could have started sooner than what I actually did. You 
Hey them list. So I mean, like Clay probably didn't mess his finances up. And even when I started roof business, see, my finances was all messed up. It took me and Tim a little while to pay our way out, you know. But we did. We paid our way out. Yeah. But, like with me and Tammy, though, uh, the main thing wasn't like what we was doing. We just didn't. We just didn't know how to manage our money. The damn man was 18 years old. <laughs> he don't. Hello, everybody. I guess Tim ain't watching. So he said, talk to him a minute before he started. Hello, everybody. He said he's going to bleach it first. So, it's pretty warm out here. Y'all, I'm sweating. Yeah, that's, hey, he said, he was talking about that blooming. He was talking about getting a mold. That camper, when I, bought, when I bought it, it ain't been washed since I bought it. I got out there and pulled it out a while ago. Before he got here, and I pulled it up in that spot it's sitting in. But this is the grandma's great grandson that you hardly ever hear about. On this side, y'all. You know, I've been trying to get Tammy to come out. Can't get her to come out. I'm gonna go in the house for a minute. I'm gonna just let it sit right here because he's gonna be on this side for a minute. Y'all tell the new people coming in who this is. Because there'll be people like coming in that won't know. Okay, I'll be back. <coughs> you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to make a thumbnail. I'll be back in just a minute.
he asked me to come out here and talk to y'all so he got back out here. Man, that thing is cleaning that camper. I didn't know it could be that wide. Hey, everybody. with the pulling the boat. I don't drive the camper. Aww. Tell him thank you, Dawn. That's so sweet. Woo. What you got me? Got me out here without a chair. I think y'all can like it a little better than that, can't you? They only 35 likes. Y'all got to help Hodge out now. He gonna get to thinking y'all don't like him. Not Clay, mystery man. <laughs> you in a passenger seat with three little dogs? <laughs> Y'all, I was so proud to see Stephen got tires on that buggy today. I have definitely got the wrong shirt on for today. I can tell y'all that. Y'all want to see my puppy shirt? See my puppy shirt? Ooh, but it's long sleeves. It's hot out here. I don't know what Hodge felt like he had to do. I got you, Michelle. You do always ask people to like and share. Looks like you're a little Woodrow. <laughs> oh, but it's hot now. It's done got summertime here in East Dublin. <laughs> Well, I didn't know it could get that white. The other side, man, it looks good. They saying you're doing a good job. It feels like it's 110 out here in this long sleeve shirt. <laughs> but I know it ain't. Uh-oh, we got 50 likes. We're coming up here. Hey, everybody on here. Mm. He did? Okay. Ooh. Oh. 
Yeah, we keep our ACs turned on, but our ACs ain't hitting on much. Danny's he's probably going to have to uh, have them come clean them or something. It probably does, Blooming. Can we please pray for April again? I found the spot. Let's pray again. All right, I sure will. I sure will. Bless her heart. I got an anonymous family that lives here in Dublin that uh, they need prayer. One of their family members is is very, very sick. They they just found out about it. And, you know, they hadn't told everybody, so it has to stay anonymous, but God knows who it is. But I'd appreciate it if y'all would uh, help me pray know that the Lord will just strengthen this family and heal the way he sees fit and just draw the family close together and have his way and his will with this anonymous family here in Dublin. I would appreciate that. Appreciate you and little man praying. Appreciate everybody praying. I see the guineas over there across the yard. <clears throat> Daylight walking about the neighborhood. <laughs> Thank y'all. baby she acted just as crazy about him as she does Cody she went several miles to another town to pick him up and bring him up here all the time and sometimes he'd get she'd get down there to get him and his mama say he can't go and then she'd have to drive all the way back home She's not always had a, a easy life in her grandchildren's situation except with Stephen and Christina. But she loves Clay. She just, she don't see him that often, but when she got sick, it didn't take him but just a few minutes get up him from where he lives, about an hour away. He came back every day to check on her. He loves her. And you know, Grandma loves K. 
Cody, but she, she talks more about Charlotte now than she does Cody. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it kind of steps up. <laughs> and Clay's got two grandbabies. His daughter Taylor had a had another little girl. Clay says she's already spoiled. Here come Mr. Hodges. Of course, it don't take long to spoil one nowadays. But Clay's a, he's a good daddy and good husband, good granddaddy, just an all around good person. Danny only had Tony, one sibling. Hey, I was in there, like laying on the couch. <laughs> Enjoying the air. Yeah, well, I mean, no, I just got to, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just forgot I was supposed to come back out here, I reckon. All right, y'all, I uh, love y'all. I'm going back in the house. Hey, Where before you there? go, uh, Tammy, I was telling like, at the first of this video, Clay had a tough life too. Yeah. Real tough. And, and he he made himself what he is, you know. And uh, I never I never cared about. He's all he wants to be, y'all. Is what I'm saying. I mean that. I don't think he wants to be no lawyer or nothing. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not had to. As long as I made a living, was all, all I really cared about, you know, make a decent living. Hey, Tim, your phone's ringing in the house. You can all go right. on, baby. Thank you for coming out. All right. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. We probably made like four dollars an hour. I don't want that. You know, in the beginning, I do know that's what I made when I worked for the other man, Rupin, four dollars an hour. You know. You know, if that's what you're used to, that's what you're used to. So it, I'm, you know, I mean, you don't think very much about it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Just don't think very much about. Uh, I wish I was rich. That's what we's used to, and that's what that's like what a bunch of people was used to in this town. Me and my kid, you know, all them people worked at the wool mill. They didn't... I mean, they didn't make no whole bunch of money. But, like, you didn't have to have no skill, you know, to work there. All you... All you had to do was be willing to work. I'm gonna uh, walk up there and pull that and move that up. Thing that he's got running. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna try to put it behind that trailer a little more, maybe to quiet down. People like that. They worry about money. 
is, in my opinion, I think it's people that more make money. That, you know, greed kicks in, you know. That's what it always seemed to me. You know, we watch all these shows on the movies and stuff on TV. Like, no matter how much they have, they want more. I was watching a movie last night. <clears throat> Let me tell you a quick place, Great. See that? Above the window. See that? Above the window right there where he is. He might have seen that. He might have seen that. He might have did. I was talking about, well, you know, above the, the window there. I didn't know if he could see it from where he was standing. There was a movie last night. It was a, it was some thieves, you know. And the man had done done one job, and which I think he was a thief. But he had done done one job, and he got talked into doing one more. And I mean, you know, I mean, they all made a bunch of money and everything. And then. They wouldn't let him quit. And I mean, hell, man, I mean, they rich beyond your, your wildest dreams. And uh, that's in the movies, but it seems like it's, it's like that in real life, but, but not everybody's like that. So, you had to be careful when you're getting on there talking, people say, I ain't like that. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah, I do know that, but... But it seems like, you know, if... If I had a million dollars, you wouldn't see me out there trying to make a million more. Everybody ain't like that. Me and my buddy used to make fun of people like that. But I told my buddies about a man, like, he was getting a haircut at the barber shop. And, uh, that got a phone call. Why he's getting a haircut? He said, yeah, I do it. He's a truck driver. He said, yeah, I do it. And he hung the phone up. He turned around and he said, shit, don't turn around. Don't turn no money down, right? And like, is it that bad? You know, you, you, you can't even go get a haircut. I'll be right back. Let me get my chair up. Stephen is going to call that man up. I don't think he should have done that. That that man on the phone. He sounded like a real nice guy. 
I don't think he should have done that. You know, like hurt the man's feelings. We'd like nothing to gain. Stephen ain't gained it. You know, it might be different if the man was a stinker or something like that, but that's a nice, that man's a nice guy. And there wasn't no reason for it. See what a good job he's doing. That's the way you get repeat business, y'all. That's the way you do it. Actually, that's the way I work. Hey, people. Hey, people, baby. Ask me questions like before I get rooted. I said, just wait till I get through and then we'll, we'll walk around. Because they would ask you about something, you know, like something you was, that you was planning on doing, you know. But, well, almost every time. Almost every time they would. But like, doing a good job, and, it, and, and you know, I mean, it ain't just doing a good job. It's being a man of your word. You tell somebody I'll be there, man. And listen, let me get this in there too. If you can't be there, don't leave them hanging. Call them up. And tell them. And, and I mean, don't wait until it's time for you to be there to do it. Call them up and tell them that you, you, you're going to be late or whatever, you know. And then, and that's why I had so much work, y'all. That's why I had so much work. As a man of my word, I still am. I tell you, I do something, I'll do it. I told him, I said, <coughs> you know, I was drinking a little while back. I told him, I said, you know, Tim, I said, you know, I'm gonna quit, don't you? She didn't rag me or mess with me or say nothing to me about it. But see, like, I don't have no business drinking, see. But, like, being a man of your word. Stephen's wanting to get that truck first truck he looked at the other day the other morning I'm sure a bunch of y'all seen him he's wanting to get that truck and uh, he ain't talked to me he talked to Tammy today sometime They won't come off the price none. And he ain't asked me, he ain't talked to me. But look here. They would, they would do something. They would put two new tires on that truck or put four tires on there. They'd knock $2,000 off. They'd do something. They'd do something. And, and people are pros. Uh, you know, most of them at the car lot stuff. And they can 
they can read you, you know. I guarantee you. See, I heard them say, truck needed tires or front tires or something other. By God, he put some tires on there for me now. Or I let it sit on the lot two weeks and then go ask him. Was he ready to put some tires on it yet? You know, so I don't know much about the alien burn. So I don't know much about the art of the deal. But like y'all do know, y'all have heard of the art of the deal. But I can tell you this right here about the art of the deal. This is all I know. You have to be prepared to walk away. You know what I mean? You know, man says X amount of money for the truck. And I say, well, by God, you're going to put my four tires on there. You know. And you got to be ready to walk away. He don't, he don't, that man don't want that truck. He wants your money a lot more than he acts like. They ain't selling nothing anyway. I don't give a damn what nobody says. They ain't selling nothing. They ain't, they ain't about nobody buying new cars. Uh, like interest, like uh, interest, interest, interest rates, y'all. Like is, uh, is is made things bad. Interest rates. But, but I mean. That's the reason they went up on them. To slow the economy down where where inflation won't keep going up. They like putting a cap on it. So if Stephen's listening, he don't always like what I say, y'all. He put me some tires on that truck. Or, or I let him keep it. I don't think it's no great deal anyway, myself. And I done told him that that's the reason he ain't saying nothing to me. Let me explain this to you about the truck. Let me explain this and I, and I think I think every one of y'all will agree. If you don't agree, tell me you don't agree. When I when I get through telling you what I'm gonna tell you. That truck has 150,000 miles on it. Okay, Steve. Hey, Steve, that truck's got 150,000 miles on it. it. You will have 50,000 more miles on it quick. And then you're going to be starting to look for a motor. Then ain't no Toyota, my man. You better think about what you're doing. So, $18,000 for a truck that's got 200,000 miles ain't gonna happen, boy. Like, you wanna turn around and sell it? Don't let, don't let the man outsmart you. He wants your money. He just thinks you're going to give it to him. He thinks he's got you. You tell him, by God, you put me four tires on there, that you found another one, but you really like that one, but the other truck's like cheaper. The other truck is the same truck, it's cheaper, but you really like that one. But he's forcing your ass to go buy that other truck if he don't put some tires on it, see. That's the way you have to talk to him. You got to make them think they ain't going to get that money. I don't mighty know. Tammy ain't put a lick of sugar in that coffee. Tammy! Bring some sugar out here. I can't leave this camera again now. Yeah, you, uh, hey, y'all, I mean, listen, man, 
this to me. You think that guy, you think he paid cash money for all them trucks up there on that car lot? I mean, now I want you to listen to me. Take what I'm seeing through the bank and know what I'm talking about. They borrow money for them cars. When they buy them, they, they go to the bank, they borrow money. They, they don't have two million dollars to buy damn trucks. They go to the bank and borrow money. And whenever they paying that back, they paying interest. You hear me? They paying interest. They don't want them trucks sitting on the lot. They know Stephen wants that truck, and he's holding out. Hey, Stephen needs to let me go up there, and him don't even go. And if he just got to have that truck, I'll get him four new tires. What you tell me I'm wrong about the man? Hey, boy, that... I know that man. I mean, we all used to drink together. Hey, that man's been in the that man's been in the car business. He, I, I, I mean, almost his whole life. I've done that, just what I said. I've done that many days. And you would believe, you wouldn't believe how good it works. When you convince them you're fit to go buy something else. Because it's a little cheap. It's the same thing, but it's a little cheaper. They have changed their mind quick. I done, I've done it. And some of the stuff I bought was like such a good deal. I didn't even try to uh, mess with them. That camper right there, I think that man come off of it, $2,000. That car there, Tammy's got. I didn't, I could have beat the woman down about it, but like, the car was worth what, you know what? It was worth, it had 94,000 miles. And the car was worth, you know what? what it was in that Chevrolet truck around there there was a girl trying to sell it she was really desperate to sell it and I told her I wasn't going to and she was real anxious you know and I knew it but like I can see stuff y'all you know I asked her was she sure she wanted to sell it Fifteen hundred dollars. Let me show you. Hell, it might have been twelve hundred dollars. Ain't never put no oil in it until, unlike, unless you change the oil. You don't use no oil. I caught that right there. I didn't try to. I didn't mess with her about it, you know. Just asked her was she sure she wanted to sell it. Because I knew it was cheap. Okay. 
See right there where the slide is, Clay? Mm-hmm. See that? See that on that material, that cloth? Did you miss that? No, I sprayed it. No, he sprayed that color. Stephen wants to straighten something out. He said you confused. Okay, go ahead, Stephen. I mean, man. Oh. Okay, well, straighten me out. Hey, I'm straightening out there, buddy. Straighten me out. Huh? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Well, no, I ain't talking about the man in Swainsboro, Stephen. I'm talking about I wouldn't have told the other man that the man was talking about him. <laughs> well, I didn't have it as wrong. I didn't have it as wrong as you think, son. Ah, but ah, but I get it straight. Yeah. Okay, son. I I I tell them what you're talking about. All right, son. Love you too. All right, son. So he said I had it mixed up, but I didn't. Uh oh. I was just saying that I wouldn't have told. The nice man, somebody was talking about him. That's all I was saying. You know what I mean? People do that. I mean, I just wouldn't have. I would. I just wouldn't have told the nice man that. Now, now the, the man shouldn't have been talking about the other man, especially if they do business. But like he's like trying to sell Stephen a truck, see. Yeah. I got one more thing to do to that camper, y'all. Yeah, I mean, that ain't no big deal. But that what I was talking about. That ain't no big deal. But, uh... It's probably a good thing we don't know... We don't all know one another's thoughts. But I got one more thing to do to that camper, y'all. Got to get the carpet clean. You know, hey, that camper there, y'all, that son of a gun's worth some money, man. It's worth more than what I give for it. Everything works. You know, but, uh, the coffin needs cleaning, but they, there's a man gonna come and clean it. But, uh, that thing's... That thing's still worth some money, and, and campers is high too, y'all. You know, these days. I 
I seen, I seen somebody had a camper on, I was looking at Facebook, like, on, you know how they got that yard sale on Facebook or whatever it is, you know. I don't think it's yard sale, I think it's a uh, marketplace. And I was, and I actually, like, took a second look at it because it looked exactly like Stevens camper here, the one he's got right here. So that's the reason I was like kind of paying an extra in the extra attention. And uh, he said he said he didn't want to sell it, but he would sell it. He was wanting to rent it out, put it in on a place and rent it out for seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. Seven hundred and fifty dollars a month for a camper just like this one right here Stevens got. Hey, I mean, that's high here, y'all. Hey, good to see you, Anita. I ain't seen you in a while, dude. Neither you ain't you ain't doing like Lee and Burns, wait to see what I'm gonna say first before you come on in. <laughs> I just uh, good to see you, Anita. Good to see everybody y'all. Yeah, y'all, seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. That's a lot of money, ain't it? You know what I mean? For, so, you know what I mean? Man, <laughs> I just mess with you, Lynn. I, I, I just can't hardly help it, man. What he's doing now, seen him, well, I don't know if y'all seen him get that step ladder off the side of that. Had a step ladder on the side of that thing. He, he asked me that I want him to get on the roof and wash it, and I told him no. I told him, but like I would like for him to hit the air conditioners, you know, because you can see them. So that's what he's doing now, is hitting the air conditioners. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. When you got the money, you have the prize. That camper ain't the prize. That truck over there Clay's got ain't the prize. This camper Stevens got ain't the prize. My pontoon boat ain't the prize. The money is the prize. And when it comes to the money, people want the money. They want the money is the prize. Oh man, <laughs> how you get? Hey, the. The money is the number one sought after, even above gold. What you rather have, an ounce of gold or, a, or, or the ounce of gold in your pocket in money? You know what I mean? The money. The money. A 
But my duty, he's, all, he's always kind of hanged around with these call out people. I mean, you know, like the owners, you know. And here's what he told me. My daddy told me. He'd be up there. Somebody come out there to buy a car or a truck or whatever, you know. And that owner of that car lot knew they wanted that vehicle. But they knew not to act like they wanted. They know to act like they don't care whether they sell it or not. They know to act like that. Now listen to me now. All right? Daddy told me the owner of the car lot go in the bathroom and read the paper and let them get anxious. Y'all hear me? Let them get anxious. Mess with their mind. Good luck at working on me. And don't work on me right here. I went to Augusta, which is 100 miles away, y'all, to look at a camper. I sit here and waited on the man about 20 minutes. He said, you know, he had another man there with me, but the other man didn't know nothing. He didn't know nothing. He didn't have no right to talk. He didn't have no right to bargain. He had, he just there because I was at his house, see. Like, and here's the way I wrote. He take it to the bank. That man was late. Hey, thank you, living life. That man was late, about 20 minutes, and I waited on him about 20 or 30 minutes. And I got tired of waiting. And I left. And come back to Dublin. And like, he's on the phone saying, I'm on my way. He said he was on his way when I was there for 10 minutes. Then 20 minutes later, he calls back and says, I'm on my way. Then I got in the truck and left. I let him, let him keep the camper. I let him keep it. That, hey, that stuff don't work on me, y'all. I'm telling you. and do it to somebody else. You won't do it to me. I'm trying to get it where I ain't looking down at the camera. I don't know why this keeps moving. Hey, Danny, have play do your house. I got, uh, you know what I do need to get him to do it? But I, uh, I mean, he'll come back, y'all. So, <coughs> so y'all, <coughs> I'm gonna make him a, commercial out of this right here. A Facebook commercial. I'll take this video and download it, rip it down some, and make it, you know, about three or four minutes long. And make my man a, a, 
the video. Now, I wasn't talking bad about Stephen. <laughs> I was just saying, I don't think I would have told the nice man if the other man said that. I just don't think I'd have done it. Put a video today on Danny S. Hodges. And just to tell you how bad to the bone that fiber optic is, I had the TV streaming, had the computer listening to something else, had the other computer going where Steve was on there talking. I downloaded all this on fiber optic. I didn't I didn't stop nothing. I seen a video of Stephen and Bentley, you know, a long time ago. And I downloaded it on Facebook and then I uploaded it to YouTube. On uh that's Danny S. Hodge. It's like my first original channel. Some of y'all subscribe to it. But I put it on there today. I'm old. I've been putting some videos on there. And actually, uh, I put a video on there the other day, and I didn't know how good it was going to do, you know. And uh, just to let y'all know what I'm talking about, I made it about that camper there, about the refrigerator getting warm in warmer months, you know. I mean, it's like the, like the refrigerator itself heating up inside there, like five or six degrees, you know. And uh, I was showing how to fix that. You know what to do. And but I didn't know. I knew. I knew to. I done a good job on the video, but you gotta make something that people actually want to see. You know. And you gotta. You gotta make something that people's searching for. And uh, I made that video, and like few people watched it and stuff. And uh, it started going down, you know. Day by day, it started going down. You know, I can see like the top, maybe the top 25 videos or something, you know, in order from the best to right on down. And that video started falling. And that video fell so far. I went, I looked at it last night. It's climbing back up. So, that means the video is, I mean, it, I, you know, I mean, I don't know how far it'll go up the list. But it's, it, it's going, you know, the competition that the video is going against is some pretty tough competition. Because there's other videos that, that I've made that has stood the test of time. And it, like, gets views day after day, after hour after hour, 24-7. So it, for it just to be up in there amongst that kind of tells you it's probably a pretty good video. And I'm going to be putting more on that. So I might be putting some stuff like that on here. But I'm going to work that, that Danny is Hodges. That's where I'm going to uh, concentrate getting some videos on it. That's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to be concentrating. I might get on here and shoot the bull, just like what I'm doing now. But like, on that Danny is Hodges is where I'll be like showing you how to do something. Or something like that.
I won't but just be on there sitting in the chair talking. Well, you, hey, you know, I went a couple of years without making any videos. And your channel will go down. I don't make near as much money as I used to make. But I abandoned my channels. All of them. All of them. You know that? The Danny is Hodges channel that I'm talking about, sitting here talking about, it's still gaining subscribers. It ain't never stopped. I think it got 19,600 or something like that. <laughs> hey, you boom. Hey, you look good, don't you? That boy know he done a good job. And y'all, uh, I've been out in that camper. And I, every time I stop at a gas station, there is always at least one person that will say, man, that's a nice camper there. And, you know, I mean, if not more. And uh, I ain't bragging about it, uh, I, even though I am proud of it. Uh, that ain't bad for an old country boy right there, y'all. But, uh, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people like when you out, they'll say something about that, about how nice it is. And... I wanted it to, you know, I, I didn't buy it so much for myself. I didn't want Tammy to go in no, I didn't want Tammy to have no piece of junk, you know. You know, the women like us, me and we can rough it a little bit, but you know, the women, like they want something pretty nice, you know. Son, you're doing a good job. I challenge you. Mm -hmm. Hey, son, you, you, you know, you remind me of your daddy. You know, he, did you realize your daddy was a real fast worker? Mm -hmm. He was. Mm -hmm. I seen you, I seen the way you was moving around a while ago. How fast you was moving around. Well, you have to. This heat, the humidity and all that stuff, you stop, it dries. Then you gotta start back over. Yep. You gotta keep moving. Yeah, it's a gas burner. Uh, hey Clay, go in there and tell Timmy what, what you owe, son. Okay. What she owes, what we owe. She got the money to pay you. Shit. I got her stop by the bank and borrow some money. Hey son, I want, I'm gonna get you to come back and do my house too like, pro to like probably pretty soon but like i've actually spent a pretty good bit of money buying battery chargers and like just a bunch of stuff like that i really needed mm -hmm. plumbing parts and man all kind of stuff like that uh hey foggers like we got a black with a uh, problem under the house and I've been buying them foggers and just like on a street where I'm spending more than we, than we normally spend. We normally don't spend much money. Mm -hmm. All right, son, go on in there and she, she got your money. Go and clay leaves and everything. I'm going to go down to Grandma's and... Uh, You know, hook up her, uh, I 
skinny men, what you call it. You know, her, her internet to her TV, remember, last Tuesday she didn't have it. In, which I mean, she's looking at the tablet. But, uh, and I mean, yeah, hot spot. Oh, uh, that's right, boom. But, like, you know, all I got to do is go in there to the settings on that TV and go to connections and find that hot spot and then simply t type the password in there. And that password, you know, I mean, once you put it in there, it'll stay in there, you know. Oh, y'all, and I got my hot spot. Me and Tammy went out there and got it. That's another thing. Me and a hundred dollars on that last night. Oh. Uh, I got my hot spot to go camping. And, oh. Uh, so, I mean, basically, I'm ready to go besides just the carpet being clean. But I can go camping and got a certain date this guy's gonna come to clean the camp the carpet and you know whatever day he comes I will make sure that camper's here you know even if I am out so there really ain't nothing holding me now You know, that hot spot's the main thing. I mean, uh, now I mean, I'm, I'm friends with a buddy that, uh, he, uh, he don't want no TV playing. And he don't want no radio playing. And, but he will stand and hold a beer in his hand. But like when I go, <clears throat> I like to have TV. And then, you know, I have to take my computers, you know. I mean, I have to take at least two computers. Well. So I had to have that hot spot, see. That clay, y'all look at that truck. He's got a pretty nice truck there. I guarantee you they didn't know about to give that boy no money. Because here's why. They didn't know about had no money to give him. Hey. His, his mom and family, I mean, they ain't had no money to give him. He doing what he doing on his own. That's a different truck than the last truck. Last truck he had here, when he pressure washed the house, it was, he had a dually truck like Stephen. But he done got him another truck. Makes you mad just seeing. <laughs> we don't see him as often as we, you know, we would like to, you know. You know how everybody gets spread it out, you know. You know that the family will get so big. Oh, really, Myrtle? Yeah, that's a nice truck. I like that truck right there. I'm going to ask him what he gives for it when he comes out here. If I don't forget. Hey, Bloomin' Brian. Brian going to be blocked, you Bloomin'. <laughs>
Oh, before. I can't seem to get this thing. Yeah, I know it, Boom. All right, I got it zoomed in there. Oh. Uh, so, as I get off, I'll go let the slide out in and then back it back up under the shelter. But, like, you know, it, you know, I keep on talking about going camping. But it actually may be, you know, tomorrow's Friday. The concert. And, uh, And, and, and you have to load up the stuff that you're going to take with you. You have to go to the grocery store. I mean, me and Tammy usually don't buy a bunch of groceries. Well, we did at first, but they're like, hey, y'all, it's just better to go down the road and get some Kentucky Fried Chicken or go down to McDonald's. Hey, Clay, do you mind saying how much that truck there cost? Not one bit. How much was it? Six thousand dollars. Six thousand. Mm -hmm. What model was it? Thirteen. Hey, I mean that. I'm that's a good looking truck, son. It was a bank repo. Uh, um, how many miles did it have on it when you got it? Mm, I have no idea. How many miles it got on it now? About two hundred ninety. Two ninety. Mm -hmm. How long you had it? Three years. Three years? Mm -hmm. Three years, four years, something like that. That's my backup. Of course, my dog just go up, so transmission's out and the bed again. Oh, you got another truck? My dog. At Dooley? Mm-mm. A hey, red flatbed that I drove up here last year. Oh, that's the one I was talking about a while ago. I was talking about it on here, but I thought it was a Dooley. Mm -mm. That's the one that the transmission's... What, you got another transmission? I'm working on it. I mean, you gonna get a new one or a rebuild? Yeah. No, no good. How much is the new transmission? About $4,000. $4,000? Mm -hmm. $2,600 for a rebuild and $4,000 for a new one. <clears throat> Say that again. $2,600 for a used one and about $4,000 for a new one, depending on the well, How much is a rebuilt one? $2,600. So when you say used, you're talking about a rebuilt one. A, re a used rebuilt one. Yeah. They're like a used housing because uh, NV4500 is even harder to find. You don't trust a used transmission? I mean a rebuilt transmission? Why? Because I done tore up two of them. The good thing about it is I believe they use cheaper bearings, cheaper parts. And this one right here that I got right now, it had... If I had to say a three dollar bearing went out and it smoked that transmission for a three dollar bearing. Mm. Get a good bearing. <laughs> they should have used at least a, a six dollar bearing, shouldn't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know that, what you're talking about. <laughs> that one three dollar bearing costed twenty six hundred dollars for using a cheap bearing. About you the used transmission that you buy. Anywhere you find, they're going to have a one-year warranty on it. You'll get a year, year and a half, tops. Just enough for the warranty to go out. Just enough for the warranty to go out. I, I say that again, son. On the warranty, you generally get a, a year to, about a year tram, uh, a year warranty on the transmission. Yeah. It'll run about a year and a half, and then the transmission will go out. You ain't got no warranty left. The transmission's tore up. This is about the fourth time, fifth time that I've bought used transmissions and they don't last. And you've seen other people do that too, I reckon. Uh, or is it just your? Just my particular truck. I've just had bad luck with that truck, but I, I like that truck. And I'm going to fix that truck, and I'm going to keep running that truck. And when it tears up, I'm going to fix it and drive it again. I get man, man, that's the one right there, that red truck right there, is the one you need to go to Sunday school in. That red truck right there averages out about 15 miles to the gallon. My Dodge pulling that 9,000 pound trailer everywhere I go gets over 20 miles to the gallon. Fuel. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. You talking about that trailer right there? That trailer weighs almost 9,000 pounds. Man, that's, 
That's two station wagons. Mm -hmm. It ain't hard to drive with that water in that back there. Now it takes some getting used to when that water starts sloshing. Uh, it, it ain't nothing for a rookie. Not with two, not with two, three hundred and fifty gallons. What kind of motors that truck got in it? Duramax, six six Duramax. When I bought that truck, that, I mean, is that is that a decent? Mm -hmm. When yeah. I bought that truck, that was a twenty thousand dollar truck, and I probably got that tied up in it now. Um, the front end was tore up in it. When I got it, I got the front end and all fixed. The lift pump tore up. I put a new lift pump in it. And the week of Christmas, when I turned in my front yard, the injector pump went out. That was $3,500. That was me doing it myself. And now I got a small seeping fuel leak somewhere, and I ain't been able to find it. I got to take that whole entire front of that motor back off, and I can't because I'm driving the truck every day. Until you get your oven fixed. Mm -hmm. Hey, what, what makes Stevens Chevrolet sometimes crank up, and sometimes it won't? He had to get it towed from Atlanta or... South Carolina. He had to get it towed the other day. Sometimes it'll crank and sometimes it don't. The first thing I would check is the gas. If it's getting gas and keep continuing to keep gas, um, if it ain't gas, then it's going to be fire. It's going to be one of the two. You can check them in however order you want to, whether you check the fire or you check the gas, but one of the two is knocking off. If he goes out there in the morning and hits the key and it cranks up, it's a minor something, but you got to find out if it's in the fire or if it's in the gas. Yeah. I, I'm i going to say fuel pump right off the rip. Well, I told him like when he goes to try to crank it, if it won't crank, to hit the gas tank with a hammer. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times that'll make one a, a, on. a fuel pump go to pumping. I don't think he's messed with it what's more common than a hammer because most people don't have is pull your receiver hitch out of the back of the <laughs> out of the back of the hitch and hit it yeah i've done it a many a day pull the receiver hitch out and hit the gas tank crank it up and drop back home yeah do not stop and do not shut it off yep well i hate to rush off but i'm gonna go ahead and start working my way back hey home. i understand son it's been a long day ain't it yeah it has. hey son did you oh uh, did you make enough money? Mm -hmm. You you satisfied? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want you coming out here working, uh, trying to work too cheap, so. I've done it my whole life. I think it now. <laughs> well, you have come a long way, son. Here and then got to drive home. Ain't even got to take your boots off. Ain't even got to eat. Well, I'm sure supper will be ready by the time I get home because I like to say Roland had a ball game, so everybody's going to be running a few minutes late today. Like everybody doing good, sir? Good, good as can be, good as expected to be, I reckon. Are you, are you keeping all the women satisfied with money and gifts? Trying. <laughs> Yeah. He's got a house full of women there. Hey, son, come shake my hand. Go ahead, son. Thank you for coming. Mm-hmm. And thank you for coming early, you know. Hey, I just fell to your hands. They ain't tough like they used to. Like, you done got like, like where you walk around with a suit and tie in the shop? Mm-hmm. No. It's all them washing chemicals. My hands is wet and soft right now. Oh, okay. Mm, that's what it is. Yeah. That truck's gonna be loud if you still live when I leave. Hey, it ain't gonna be louder than that. No, no louder than that other thing, son. Hey, son, thank you for coming. You're doing a good job. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, let me know if I need to ride down there in the morning and give you some more money. You fine. <laughs> okay, sir. He's a really good youngin', y'all. Well, I mean, he's, I don't guess he's no younger no more. But, like, I admire him for what he's doing with his life, you know. I mean, he, hey, y'all, I mean, he might not be no doctor or lawyer or something like that, but 
he's he's all he wants to be and he's happy and that's actually kind of the way I the way I was when I was in the roof and me I could have made more money than what I did but I didn't want to work all the time his own water with him. Look at that. <laughs> Got a little Stephen Hodges in him, ain't he, y'all? Okay, y'all. Uh... I want to tell y'all I appreciate y'all coming in here. Don't forget about the Danny S. Hodges channel. I'm going to be putting videos on there. I want to thank for the Super Chats. Uh, that's living life today. Uh, I, I don't... That's the only one I've seen. But I'm going to thank living life loving I want to thank the silent viewers too you know and I want to thank the the, the chatters you know I mean you know what I mean what kind of life would this be if they wasn't nobody chatting you know I want to thank the the moderators too I want to thank the angels just out there. Here's, you, you, you sit here and look at the chat, y'all. And there's a whole pile of them. That's always uplifting. Always, no matter how bad things it is, or they always uplifting we want to thank blooming too y'all she does a lot oh hey thank you blooming hey thank you blooming thank you for being a good man love you and your family so y'all it ain't that <clears throat> it ain't i want to be thanked y'all i am lucky to have y'all you're not you're not lucky to have me I'm lucky to have y'all y'all got it I'm the lucky one I could be live and nobody watching scraping at the bottom of the barrel I'm gonna thank the moderators I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody for everything. Don't forget, Grandma will be live in the morning. Uh, 10 o'clock, you know. I'm not sure if Stephen will be there. I, you know, I just don't know, you know what I mean? I just don't know. He ain't. A lot of times he don't even know himself, you know. But I'm going to go down there and put her internet on that, you know, that, that her monitor, you know. In just a minute. I'm fitting to do that in just a minute. Grandma, if you're listening, go ahead and take the TV out and plug it up. That's all you got to do is just plug it in. And I'll come down there and Get me your password to your hot spot. I'm actually about ready to go in. I, I've been out here a, a, a pretty good little while, y'all. 
once again thank y'all for everything thank for just being good hey y'all i guess we'll see y'all at the concert tomorrow night Alrighty. Bye. Bye bye. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe now. I've been slacking on me about the likes. But like, hey y'all, we'll hey love you too, Glenn. Hey, uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow night. Bye, 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 bye.